Hello, my name is Steve Collin, and today I want to talk to you about the S5700 series of switches from Huawei and where you would use them in a network compared to the Cisco Catalyst family. Now, Huawei's S5700 are layer 2 and layer 3 gigabit Ethernet switches, and they use new generation hardware as well as our trusted versatile routing platform or VRP software. If I look at these switches as a whole, they provide high performance, high density gigabit ethernet connectivity, high speed 10 gig uplink ports, as well as having extensive service features and capabilities, such as IPv6 support. Now, during this video today, we're going to talk to you about where you would use these in the network and some of the capabilities that they have. So let's begin by looking at a typical three-tier enterprise network topology. And let's see where these Huawei switches would be used comparison products from Cisco. In this diagram, you can see how the S5700 series from Huawei can be used in a typical campus network infrastructure. The switch operates at the access layer of that infrastructure. Now, depending on your particular requirements, there are different sub-series and models of S5700 switch that you might choose. We'll be looking at some of the specific features of those models later. Now, in the diagram, we can see also how the Cisco Catalyst would be positioned in the network topology. And you can see that the 3750 product is the equivalent for Huawei at the access layer. The 5700 can be used as a direct connection switch or using iStack technology in a ring deployment. So having looked at the general position that these switches would occupy in a network topology, let's look specifically at how the models of Huawei 5700 would stack up against the Cisco models. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is that both Cisco and Huawei have a wide variety of switches, both in the layer two and the layer three environment. If we look specifically at the layer two gigabit ethernet environment, Huawei has the S5700 LI that supports gigabit ethernet uplink ports. And if we look at the 5700 XLI, that actually supports four fixed 10 gig uplink ports. Now the 5700 is particularly interesting because it supports a wide range of advanced hibernation management techniques that makes its performance in the power environment particularly impressive. It can save up to 73% power compared to an equivalent Cisco product. Now in that respect, the equivalent Cisco products here would be the 2960S, which in the same way as the Huawei product has both gigabit ethernet and 10 gigabit ethernet uplink ports. Now let's look at the layer three gigabit ethernet products. And in that space, Huawei offers four sub-series that bring many more capabilities to the table than Cisco. Cisco offers the 3560X, which does not support stacking technology, and the 3750X, which does. Now, Huawei's S5700 SI is quite similar to the Cisco 3000 with IP-based software, whereas the 5700 EI is quite similar to the Cisco 3000 with the IP service version. Huawei has another two strong products that we offer in the market. The 5710 EI supports eight 10 gig uplink ports and also MPLS and NetStream. The 5700 HI supports hardware-based ethernet OAM and BFD, as well as MPLS and NetStream. Now, in addition, Huawei also offers a fixed configuration, powerful 48 port S5710HI. That's 48 gigabit ethernet ports, as well as eight fixed 10 gigabit ethernet ports. It also offers the option of four slots of flexible card support that you could use for either 16 gig e ports 
four 10 gig E ports or four 40 gig E ports. So let's conclude by looking at a table that summarizes the key capabilities of the EI, HI, LI, and SI. If we begin by looking at IPv4 routing protocol support, you can see that as we move from the LI to SI to EI and HI, we add more capabilities. So we begin with static routing, we add RIP, and then as we move to the EI and HI versions, we also add OSPF, BGP, and ISIS. It's really the same story for IPv6. The LI supports static routing. We add RIPNG on the SI version. And then again, as we move to the EI and HI versions, we add OSPF v3, BGP plus, and ISIS v6. Turning to MPLS support, that's something that we only offer on the HI version of the 5700. OAM and BFD support is provided using software on the LI, SI, and EI, whereas on the HI, we bring in hardware level support for those capabilities. Finally, if we look at maintenance capabilities, the EI offers SFLOW and NetStream for traffic analysis and data collection, and the HI offers NetStream.